Hi guys, a very warm welcome to you from Dubai. My name is Ash and welcome to episode 8 of our fragrance reviews. Today I'll be discussing and reviewing a very popular flanker to one of the top selling fragrances in the last previous years. This fragrance uh, is a flanker to the original Eros from the house of Versace. Here's the bottle that the fragrance comes in. Uh, while the original was a blue uh, bottle, this one comes in a red bottle with a similar design. Here's the cap with the famous Versace insignia. The atomizer. At the bottom, you'll find a sticker that says 100 ml or the perform concentration made in Italy. Also, I wanted to point out something which uh, caught my attention and I thought I'll point it out here. Maybe it might not be a big deal for a lot of people, but I just felt that the attention to detail here is uh, missing. For example, the color on the cap is a little bit different the different uh, you know color of uh, dif different gold uh, 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 color uh, the atomizer is a little bit darker sort of like a rose gold uh, finishing over here and the insignia if you can see is a different gold color it's a little bit more uh, lighter gold than the cap itself so this is uh, when clubbed together you kind of get a three different gold uh, colors used on the top of the bottle so this is something that uh, i found quite inconsistent and i thought i should point it out just in case here's the packaging that the fragrance comes in similar to the original eros and the details at the bottom so let's begin this review with our impression of what we feel about this fragrance and if it's worth your money we'll just do a spray and sniff test so we can discuss about the opening and then I'll get into deeper about the fragrance because I've used it for the last couple of days so I can give you a full impression about my experience with it So uh, before I dive into our impression, I would like to discuss what kind of fragrance this is. This is a very uh, citrusy slash aromatic uh, slash woody fragrance. Uh, it is a fragrance that will appeal to many uh, on, uh, you know, immediately on the opening because it has this fresh burst of citrus mixed with uh, some fruity elements there is definitely some some uh, uh, for, uh, some form of rose uh, to give it that sweet smell that's what I can detect from initial uh, test I have it on the dry down on this particular hand and the dry down has reached uh, a very sort of woody slash uh, balsamic uh, kind of a fragrance uh, that sits uh, uh, okay in my sense on your skin. Uh, I would not say that this is something of a you know a, a, a great uh, experience uh, in terms of how it dries down, uh, but the opening is definitely quite good and quite uh, in your face and quite, quite pungent with the uh, citruses and the I think it has uh, uh, orange it has uh, some lemon but uh, I don't know what other uh, citruses citruses have been used but it definitely gives you that uh, clean fresh vibe in the beginning but during the dry down I can definitely smell it become very woody, uh, very kind of rough 
uh, doesn't maintain the freshness uh, on the dry down uh, so that's my opinion about this uh, fragrance uh, I would also like to add uh, the initially when I mentioned about the balsamic nature of this uh, fragrance what does that mean F for some or for a few who don't know what the balsamic effect does on uh, fragrances is that it makes it very sour in nature so you can feel that sourness uh, which you might feel is caused by the lemon but actually maybe it's caused by something else that's mixed in the ingredients so when it's on its dry down you can get that sour feeling uh, mixed with that woody element uh, with this fragrance now the note breakdown is quite extensive uh, i'll put a link down in uh, the description where you can see the different notes that it has there's definitely some sort of spiciness that has been uh, created with the use of pepper which is uh, something that is quite evident but uh, i did not know what kind of spices were used so i had to do some research on it so the spicy element uh, is there on the opening but towards the dry down it's very very balsamic and uh, very woody the woody part i don't mind but the balsamic part on my skin uh, kind of is not very pleasant for me so uh, my impression overall about this fragrance that uh, if you have the original eros uh, this in my opinion still a very good fragrance for the money that you pay for it if you have that uh, i don't see the eros flame as a worthy flanker to the original so uh, you can definitely try it out in some stores and see if this uh, if this is something that is your style but in my opinion this is something that i would definitely skip um, the 100 ml version roughly goes for around uh, 60 to 75 dollars depending on where you uh, buy it from i gave it a couple of wearings in the last couple of days and also asked my uh, children to use it so I could uh, see if I could smell it off them uh, see how it projects uh, the sillage and uh, you know see how long it lasts on their clothes on their skin so I used it for a couple of days and my opinion is such that uh, the fragrance definitely lasts for about four to six hour mark uh, and uh, the longevity is about four to six hours I wore it uh, primarily it's summer already in Dubai so that's the kind of uh, uh, performance I got the uh, projection was just about 30 to 40 minutes of initial wearing so if uh, projection is what you're uh, after maybe this might not serve you well the sillage was good uh, nothing great but just for about that 15 20 minute to a half an hour mark i could get whiffs of it when my children were moving around so that's usually how i test my fragrances i put them on my children's clothes because they've been running you know they keep running around playing so i can smell and see if the uh, sillage is uh, or the projection is good enough so that's my experience uh, with this fragrance uh, in overall the overall performance is not that great but that is probably on my skin i haven't worn it on my clothes so maybe that performance might vary depending on if you wear it on your clothes but uh, overall uh, an okay experience with this fragrance um, definitely will not recommend it if you are a fan of the original Eros, I would say stock up on this or keep using this fragrance over the uh, Eros Flame, uh, which is uh, the flanker to Eros. As always, if you like this video, please like and share it with your friends and colleagues and do subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram where we do a lot of unboxing and show you the overall presentation of all the fragrances that we review. Thank you very much.